Hi, uh, in this video I will be showing how to install a tiny core Linux instance into uh, emulated virtual environment. Uh, emulated virtual environment is a multi-vendor emulator supports the simulation of multiple networking devices. You can create a virtual network lab using the virtual devices and even uh, there is a free version available for everyone to download and use it and another a paid version it is a professional version i'll, I'll log into my e environment and show you this is my e yes sorry it doesn't support https Uh, this is a page where you land here you can create any uh, topology this is a place where you create a network topology so I'll do I'll create a new lab tiny core so if you come here click on the plus and if you see the nodes this supports all these devices so whatever it is showing us blue color which I have already installed so it has a wide range of support so a lot of Juniper devices uh, even Cisco devices So images either you can buy or you can download it from online from the official sites okay okay so now we are going to install a linux i'll show where it will come yeah here tiny core will come here um, i'll show how to install okay So Eve itself is having a default uh, image support for uh, a tiny core. So they officially says you, you can go here and download the file. So I'll go here. So all these Linux versions are supported. So you need to download this file. It is only 81 MB. yeah okay anyway we don't have to download it i just showed how to download it so i have the downloaded file available here so this is the file which will get downloaded so what you can do so i'll do extract here so this is the folder which extracted so you can see there is a in this folder this folder name like the first first word like linux hyphen this is very important so we need to copy in, the, in this uh, format itself to the eve folder structure so that it reads the folder and uh, fetches the image and loads it uh, when you select that uh, particular instance okay so this linux hyphen name is important and there uh, they it will have renamed it to sda.qgo2 so if you have any any clarification or if you have any other image or any device to simulate so there is a document available in the their site like quemu image naming you can go here and check uh, for example see if you want to install ident identity services engine ice so the folder name should start with ise hyphen after that you can give any any kind of your identification for uh, your understanding and the file name should be again yeah this is this should be the folder name the file name should be sda dot qcow2 this is very important otherwise it won't boot you will get some boot error okay
yeah, here so they have mentioned it so if you need to install acs why dot uh, so this name is very important because see you can see here acs hyphen so later version name any any customization you can do okay so since uh, we have downloaded it from their official site it came in the exact format so i don't have to rename anything so then what we need to do uh, we can just using filezilla or any other protocol we can copy this file to uh, the eve this is my eve environment so i'll connect to that i have already connected that's why anyway i'll connect again okay this is the folder structure so here what you need to do go to the main directory and uh, opt unet lab and here uh, there will be a add-on qmu and here you can see all the images so all the device instances which are running so if you see i already have a linux tiny core instance which is running and uh, uh, I'll not be able to delete because I have mapped uh, this to many of my labs. So, what I'll do, I'll rename this to another name. Underscore new. Okay. Now, so I'll come to my folder. Yeah, it is listed here. Uh, I'll put it into that folder yeah now copying is completed you can see the new uh, directory which is copied here so the SDA this is just a 100 MB file so now what we need to do uh, if you go to their document so you can see you need to any image if you put you need to give a this command to change the permission for that particular folder so i'll ssh to that uh, eve environment yeah just need to place the command enter yeah so now when we come here add an object node go to linux here you will be able to see the linux instances which i have installed so this was the layer one even i can use this both will be same but this i'll show you which uh, we have installed now ram uh, this message is not required you can give uh, see here they have mentioned uh, the rams so i'll give 512 yeah other things everything is same uh, yeah one more thing what you can do is uh, see if you need to change the image you can change it here okay we'll change it to uh, desktop save it okay so for uh, uh, connecting to a network or uh, just getting the ip so i'll i'll add one more device any switch you will install okay yeah i'll install iris the switch yeah four ethernet is enough so i give uh, ogb ram yeah see 
so i'll connect yeah each one of my okay i'll connect uh, the management so that i can access the api from my line linux tiny core and show you uh, some of the tools which are working okay zero I'll start both. Okay, to open the console. Yeah, it is booted up. Even it is having built in uh, Firefox browser installed. So using this, I'll access the API of Iris the switch and show you. So, so before that, we'll configure an IP network. Uh, we don't have any DHCP here in the setup. So, okay, uh, I'll assign IP 192.168.100.10. Okay, gateway. I'll give it as 254 and I'll give this gateway IP for IRS the switch. Save this, this configuration and apply. Yeah, so first I'll try to ping itself. Yeah, it is pinging. Now I'll go to IRS the switch and uh, configure it. Yeah, switch is booting up. Yeah, uh, switch uh, came up now. The I'll give the default username and password of my install switch. So, what I'll do, I'll see. Uh, it is actually connected to the management interface of my install switch. So, I'll assign an IP for management interface. for the gateway which we have configured there so I'll give it here no shutdown I'll try to ping to that switch uh, sorry uh, to the PC yeah this ping Okay, I'll enable even the API of RSA switch so that uh, from the uh, Firefox browser will be able to access it and verify it. So username. Save the config. So now we'll go to the Linux machine. First, we'll try to ping to the uh, switch. Yeah, it is pinging. I'll open my browser. Sixty eight hundred dot two fifty four. Yeah, I'm getting the certificate exception. I'll give admin admin. Yeah, so this is working.
yeah so uh, using this you can create multiple scenarios if you are doing some proof of concept or if you are using it for some solution in architecting or uh, designing the network you can use it so hope uh, this uh, video was helpful okay thanks for watching